Next up on our list, hockey has another one. Really? I thought this was... No, no you have not sports. She doesn't talk about sports. I was talking oh. about sports. Oh, okay. I don't so, think the closest thing sports. we have to a sports know person. Because I like college football. I, I know. That's why okay. I think you're the closest. <laughs> so after... Excuse me. I love college football. Um, so, I mean, we're also the perfect count for that. So, the Madden curse. Who does not know about the Madden curse? I know about I it know. now. Okay. Okay. I know about the Cubs curse, which is whatever. <laughs> yes. Which, which might get broken A one donkey? Day. Or is it a goat? It was a goat. A it's goat. a hybrid. So it's related two. to the devil and hell. Well, it was the, somebody Don't. killed somebody's goat. It's weird. How do we how do we go from devil and hell to the Madden curse? I don't know, man. You asked so, me so, okay. right. so, so the Madden curse dictates that since about Madden ninety eight or so, I think is when this started. Uh, anyone who's been on the cover of Madden that year, the following year, so if it's like Madden two thousand in two thousand one, that person mm. either has one of the worst years of their career or a gay or a career ending injury that which a weird pause <laughs> let's let's be honest if you, if you sold your soul to madden then you probably deserve it well no no Maybe it's just saying like, madden is owned by some kind of devil worshiping bank <laughs> that that puts that on people what? yeah i, I was saying have you not seen the ea <laughs> swatch to come mix up that's no what? Got is all that the real? Lines. yes it's all real it's cool yeah, yeah um cool. but no this one is it's it's either the worst coincidence ever, or he had his legit curse. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, Maybe people Tony are putting Romo too much was, power behind it and that's making it. That's what it, it is, because Madden is one of those crazy games. Or maybe there's someone who hates the Madden games so much, they're up in the stands with like a little dark doll. Yeah, let's yeah. do this. Well, Maybe the person that made Polly Bias was actually a Madden <laughs> fan and decided to infiltrate <laughs> EA and make epileptic <laughs> scenes inside there, make people trip out, and, and it drives people crazy well, and break themselves. What does that like, have to do with the person on the cover? Because I don't think I the person think on the cover is actually playing the game. Now they actually like, put those ping pong balls on them, and then like, oh, they record yeah. them, yeah. so maybe there's something in that process. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the example is, I think last year was, or two years ago, was Tony Romo, which, as we all know with Dallas Cowboys, had that really bad collarbone back injury that, I was about to say, you're talking about their season because I don't follow sports ball, but I know on Facebook that sports Cowboys ball? are pretty bad. Yeah, right. sports, sports, sports ball. ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, uh, I ask, that when you game. ever meet Gavin in real life, ask him about the time he had every, what was it, once a week? The jock versus the geek? Oh, yeah. We used to do a radio show with a bunch of jocks, and once a week we did geek versus jock. And I would never get any sports questions right. He would never get a geek. But I was the least of the worst because he didn't know that Darth Vader was Luke's father. Everybody knows that. <laughs> yes. Damn. Anyways, yeah, but yeah. This was, this is, this is, like know. I said, I don't, I don't know if this is a legit curse. Like somebody was like, like you said, it has to be a curse because that doesn't happen year after year what after you mean, year. Like after a year. curse, like a witch curse. Yes, yeah, like a hoodoo hoodoo witch curse. <laughs> we apologize <laughs> to the Wiccan community over that one, and my wife will probably be in here later with the god. <laughs> I've never heard thing. of that curse, but hey. Everybody's but got the their problem thing. is, is if it got to be three or four years, how are they still lining up to be on the cover of Madden? Like you're They're gambling not. with your. They have to sign up for like an additional amount and then an no. insurance. Mm. If it happens. Oh no, God. actually, here's the fun thing: they they don't sign up for it. It is chosen by the Madden committee. <laughs> There's a committee now that decides yes. someone's face like the Illuminati. They're saying this person is too good. It's time to shoo them out. Yeah, and yeah it's the most popular player. In one year's time, I'm going to bet on the other team, so let's put that guy yeah. on there. Yeah. I need to make some money, so let's put – he's not on my fantasy football team. He can go that way. Wow. That's <laughs> but next year. We have to make yeah. sure yeah. that's good yeah. for next year. I just find that really, really odd that this is something that's happened like literally almost every year. I think except in recent years because someone probably broke the curse. But no, it has happened every still, year. I mean, it's just crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's because people believe. In it. Like, can you I opt believe. out of being on the cover? Can you say, uh, like no? <laughs> yeah. Actually, one guy did, and it's because... Um, Men in black people came to his house, broke no. his, leg, his leg. No, no, no. No, <laughs> he um, no, he shot a guy, and that's kind of how he got off oh. the bad cover. Well, hey. So, oh, desperate, so hey! Desperate times. <laughs> desperate times. <laughs> I didn't want to be on the cover yeah. so much, I shot someone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We know who I'm talking about, too. So Madden is interesting, but... I, I think I like I like this talk of the apocalypse. This makes me amused. Yeah. All right, Mostly, so, hold on. I know. We're I out of time. So I know. Wrap this up. Be quick. So my thing is, is I love people who tell me to get about the end of the world because I have literally heard about the end of the world since 1901 when I re first read about the Carolina. You alive in 1901. Hold on. Vampire. <laughs> yes. Come here. Um, <laughs> so in 1901, there was the Carolina end of the world cult. 
literally in North Carolina, this cult beast people taught, said the end of the world was going to happen. 1901. My home state. Right. Guess what? I'm still standing here. I'm standing right here, and the end of the world did happen. All those tabloids do it every week.